Slam. You, me, I'll see you in Motor City, bitch. <laughs> what up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So we got a really funny segment here, man. So first of all, poor Nikki Cross, man. I mean, Nikki Cross. <sighs> wow, man. Oh my God, bro. What is happening, Nikki Cross, man? She is getting, she has become a jobber now. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Shayna Baszler got a quick win off her. It didn't even take more than 30 seconds. Just put her in a submission, a cure Fuda clutch, and that was it for her, bro. And so that's when Ronda Rousey got on the mic. And this was, let me say this. This was one of Ronda Rousey's best promos I've ever seen her do. She was really good. So she was up in, uh, I guess, one of the luxury suites or whatever in the State Farm Arena in Atlanta. And she said, and the crowd goes mild. And then everybody looked up, saw that Rousey was speaking from, you know, the top in the press box. Actually, it was a press box. And uh, and she got Baszler's attention. And Rousey took an issue with, the, with uh, Baszler stating that she lost it to the back door of the WWE. Kind of, you know, when she kind of overshot all her accomplishments going into the WWE, like all the stuff that she did when she got to the MMA level with the judo and everything, uh, Olympic medal and stuff like that. So she says, you know, even though we didn't have the same paths, I still had to work my way up there and didn't have the developmental phase like you had down at NXT, you know, to get everything right. And so... I like that. I like that. I like how she actually addressed that. Because sometimes in wrestling, like I said, sometimes they could say something one week and then it's just forgotten. I'm like, I'm glad that they actually addressed that the following week. And so, uh, Rousey said she's the greatest combat fighter of all time. And then Baszler said, and then Baszler got on the mic and said, it's easy for Rousey to talk from way up there. <laughs> and, uh, and, then, and then Baszler said that when it comes to, uh, to what they do in the WWE, She's a better Ronda Rousey than you. <laughs> Bro, I've been impressed with Shayna Baszler's promo skill, like my skills too. This feud right now, it's it's only been going on three weeks, but it's been pretty damn good, bro. I'm actually looking forward to the match now because it's been booked so well. Because they've been selling it, man. And a lot of people had, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people didn't think these two would be able to go uh, on, the, on the mic. You know, a lot of people had their doubts. I, I was reading it. Like, people were like, oh, these two can't talk, all this other stuff. But they've been doing a damn thing the last three weeks, bro. And then uh, Basil told Rousey to bring her heavy ass to the ring <laughs> and settle things on the spot. And uh, the, the fan shit, oh, yeah, no, you know. And then and then Rousey said, before taking a seat, unless you want to wait to make me. So that's when Basil ran the, up the ring steps. So security had stopped her on, on her way up the, uh, on her way up there, and then Rousey was like, "You know what?" She said she will help she will help Baszler, as she just had throughout her career by getting her booked on SummerSlam. Like she couldn't get booked on SummerSlam by herself. That was a cold. That was a cold diss though from Ronda Rousey. Then she said, "You me, I'll see you in the Motor City, bitch." <laughs> and then she left, man, and dropped the mic too. She dropped the mic on him, man. Oh man, the women's segments tonight were really good, bro. They were they were booked. I'm telling you, man, since that draft, that draft has really helped the raw women's division out, man. I've been seeing it every single week. It's been better and better and better. Um This was good. This was this this was good. I like this. I enjoyed this. The crowd seemed to be enjoying it. Um They got a book more see, they've been getting a little bit more creative with the women. The backstage segments we saw earlier tonight were Rhea, Raquel, and Liv. This one, they had Miz TV. I'm going to talk about that next with Becky Lynch, Trish, and Zoe. They got to continue to do more creative segments. Letting Sonny and Chelsea win. It was a good night for the women again, just like it was a couple of weeks in Baltimore, bro. Um, but yeah, it's still not defined who... I, I, I'm assuming Baszler is a tweener right now. Ronda Rousey's definitely still a heel. She's definitely still a heel right now. But I think Baszler's more of a tweener right now. Because the crowd is on her side. So, 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get to the uh, Becky Lynch segment. But let me know what y'all thought about this, though. Man. Are y'all more... Do y'all want to see this match more now after this week? Like, let me know in the comment section. Give this video a like. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all thank y'all for watching. After news to like.